Hey guys, um, sorry about the no scan bait today, but I did, I did have a good one. I was in the car, so I didn't have my fucking camera. But if I don't do scan bait, then it's probably something else. What's in the bag, y'all? Take a good guess. I'll give you five seconds. Go! If you guessed blind bags, you're correct. This pop must make more, more noise. More noise. I need more noise. Hey! One, two, three, four, five, six. I got, I got eight blind bags, which should be all the new ones. I buy all the repaints, y'all. So I will be giving out codes. This one is 47P. Take a good look. Only the only the only these three right here matter. Actually, only actually only these two right here matter. The four and the seven are the ones that matter. So we're gonna open it from the underside. I don't know what they are. I actually, it should be the Parasaurolophus. But before we get, it is. It's Parasaurolophus. But first, let's take a look at the leaflet, which looks really good. There's all three Baryonyxes. Limbo, Blue, Tarbosaurus, Parasaurolophus, Trandon, T-Rex, the green one. The Stegosaurus, Baryonyx Grim, a Triceratops, a Brachiosaurus, Baryonyx Chaos, Bumpy, Irritator, Carnotaurus, and Seox, which I think the Carnotaurus is the same as the, the, the minifigure 15 pack at Target. This is nice. This is a, the Parasaurolophus, you guys. So this is actually a bit different than the one that you get in the 15 minifigures. It's got more, more pink and purplish. It's some say it could it could go in the dark, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. It's got articulation here. It's got it got more pink on its crest and pink stripes. The other one doesn't, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, it's the Parasaurolophus. This one is D50P. So there you go. Let's see what this one is. I have a feeling I know exactly what it is. Should be the Tarbosaurus, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no. It is actually the Seox. Wow. Just wow. I, this is really nice. Just look at this. This is really good. Um, the mouth can open up super wide. Super wide. The hands are non-pronated, which is, well, they kind of are a little bit. This looks just like the massive biters from last year. It even has that little, that larger tooth right here and that little hole that it fits into. Well, mine doesn't really stand up very well. Fortunately, it got warped, which is why it's got the little plastic piece. Yeah, this is really cool, you guys. I really like it. They did not paint a pupil on that, but it does have an iris. It's got, like, bits of blue down in here. It's got that khaki color on the legs, and here's a up view of it. It's kind of really nice, and it's a very nice species. Now, the one I want them to make the most is actually the Albertosaurus. Okay, let's open up. D forty two P. Let's open it up. Oh, this is actually the Stegosaurus. This is the Stegosaurus in the wave. This is really nice. Now this paint now the the tail is not painted, unfortunately, but it does articulate. It's got those little black specks in it. It's actually a different color than the rest of the body, but it's not too no noticeable. It actually resembles the Stegosaurus you get from the Stegosaurus Adventure Pack with the Limbo and Darius and Baby Bumpy, but it, it doesn't have any pink underneath. I would like to have the pink underneath, but it also has got really nice gray stripes and gray plates but the plates down here are not painted at all 
This is a repaint of the other two. That brown one and the green one. Now we got a, a beautiful looking gray one. This is a really good wave, you guys. Okay, that was D42P. The next one we're going to open up is D49P. I know what this is. Alright, I'll show you this just so you know I'm honest. D49P, you guys. Wow, this is cool. Wow. It's the Tarbosaurus. This is really cool, y'all. The, 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 it is really it holds up to its name. Alarming Lizard. It's got that gray. Actually, it's kind of the same gray as the Stegosaurus. Actually, I'm going to put... Ah, uh, no. The mouth can articulate. Another Tyrannosaur in a minifigure scale. I really want them to make Albertosaurus so fucking bad. Now, let's see how good mine can stand up. It stands okay. He's, he's got super big feet, you guys. Like, they're so big. He's got just a little bit of a red underneath of his on his jaw, and that is it. His eyes are painted red. He's got red specks down his legs and tail, but only a few. He's mainly gray, but he's got black stripes from the top of the head to about towards halfway down the tail. This is really a nice minifigure. If you were to get one, I would probably say get the Tarbosaurus, or just get all of them. Just get the whole wave if you're a, if you're a legit completer. Okay, now let's open up. Let's, well, this is kind of obvious. I just got it because I already knew what it was. D46P. It's very obvious because it's the only flat one in the wave. And oh my, this, this looks really nice. This is a Pteranodon. This is actually kind of like the... The 12 inch basic figures Pteranodon, but it also could represent the that one from the Legacy Collection back in 2018. Because they did like two of them in that wave. It's got like, it's a green Pteranodon. It's like a, it's that 12 inch basic figures, the one in the Primal Attack and the Dino Escape year. Uh, it's super huge. It's about, it's about as big as the Amber Collection one. I don't have it on me currently. That's a sad thing. But it's got like like a Mountain Dew colored green paint on the wings, on the back, on the other wing, on the beak area. But it stops just before the crest. The eye is just a black dot. There's no paint inside the mouth. Um, this is what it looks like underneath. It's got like a... A greenish blue specks down the all over the body. This is really nice. I would. This is a cool one. Okay, this is my. All right, this 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 is the irritator, you guys. This is D forty eight P. Now I didn't think I would I would be getting this one because I looked at it. I was I was looking through the whole fucking box. And I like, and the last one I put back in was the Irritator. Oh my gosh, this is the one I was waiting on the most. Wow. This is my favorite one. This is already my favorite. Oh my gosh. Wow. I love the Irritator toy. I love all the toys. Now, the, the teeth, unfortunately, are not painted on this. Um, The mouth can open up. The top jaw is blue, but it's actually... Just blue paint on top. It's brown underneath. It's got like a yellow eye. It's got that blue, that 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 sky cyan um, blue inside the sail, the half sail. Let's look at this. It's even in the same posture as the original. It kind of looks like it's fishing, which I always thought was really cool. It's even got paint down the tail, and it's got, it does not have that little bit of an underbelly like it did on the toy, but I mean, these guys can't have everything, so I'm not complaining too much. He's got pretty big feet. I mean, they all do, but I'm going to try to keep them in the freaking cart plastic piece. Okay, that was D48P. 
This is D41P. I already know what this is. This this should be Bumpy. Bumpy the Ankylosaurus. Not just any Bumpy. The adult Bumpy. It is. Unfortunately, you guys, it does not have asymmetrical horns. If you wanted to know that, it does not have asymmetrical horns. Focus, 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 focus. Come on. I'm sorry if you guys can't see it very well. But the horns are not asymmetrical. And that's kind of a bummer. They just repainted the Ankylosaurus, but it actually doesn't look too bad. It's still bumpy. Um, this is really nice. I do like it. I like the colors. It's got like a, now the blue on the head is a little brighter than the blue on the rest of the body. It even has paint down the tail and everything. Now, again, this was D41P, the last minifigure, and it should be the Brachiosaurus. It's D43P. Open it up. Oh, wow. This is nice. I like this. This is the other Brachiosaurus. This kind of gives you Jurassic Park 3 vibes, but it should have paint on the head. That is it. It's a, it's a dead-on repaint of the Brachiosaurus, and it looks kind of cool, actually. I like it. It, it actually kind of reminds you of, I think it's 2008, Brachiosaurus by Safari Limited, because that's what this looks like. Oh, they even gave it scientifically accurate feet. With that little claw inside the fan and three toes sticking out. A little black dot for the eye. This is really good. I really am just all. I am in all. Because this wave is just so good. Uh, give me a moment just to clean up my mess. And I will put them all on display for y'all here in just a second. I'm too lazy to pause, you guys. Also, um, I already. It's kind of late, but I already know what I'm doing for 300 subs. And. I'd like to get the video out by next week sometime before I go back to my mom's house. That is the cinnamon challenge. My dad did that when I was about six or seven. And it was funny. I remember watching that. He took a huge ass spoon. Like it wasn't those larger dinner spoons. It was like those plastic spoons you use when you're like cooking in a pot. That's the kind of spoon he used. It was fucking huge. And what he did is he just took the whole thing in, the whole thing, all in one go. And it actually stayed down for a minute until we literally puked it up. So, I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to use a soup, uh, a, di a dinner spoon, hopefully. I'm going to try to do what my dad did, but then yet again, my dad was a fucking dumbass. Rest in peace. He did die. I was nine years old. These are the new minifigures. I'm going to put some more on the side. There you go. These are the new minis. Um, let's, get a, let's get the a thumbnail in real quick. Alright guys, thank you for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry I cannot do a scan bait today, but I'll definitely try to do some Monday. Alright guys, peace.